Hello everyone. Now this is 8086 addressing modes part two. We have discussed first four addressing modes in part one video. Now we are starting with the fifth addressing mode that is register relative addressing mode. As its name register relative means the mechanism, the scheme related to somehow to any register like the operand address means the effective address is calculated using one of the base register and an 8 bit or 16 bit displacement displacement means offset address okay and one of the base address so here relative means there is a relation between base and displacement to get the effective address okay now bx is the base register 04 is the displacement either the displacement is of 8 bit or the 16 bit displacement is nothing but an offset or the address within the block that may be of 8 bit or 16 bit by adding these two the content of base register together with the displacement will get the address of the operand or we can say that the effective address of the operand here bx plus 04 it will gives you the address of the operand and that will be transferred into cl this instruction moves a byte from the address pointed by bx plus 4 in data segment to cl data segment to cl data segment is the segment in which all the data items are to be stored so represented like this only bx plus 4 this address from data segment will be transferred to register cl next is base index addressing mode the base index addressing mode means here the operand address is calculated as base register plus index register means the content of base register added with the index register for example base register is bx index register is either source index or destination index so the content of both registers will be added and this will gives you the effective address of the operand like bx plus si this address from data segment move to the register cl this instruction moves a byte from the address pointed by bx plus si in data segment to cl next is relative based index addressing mode now here three different modes are combining relative based and indexed so in case of based we have a base register in case of indexed we have an index register in case of relative means a offset address is there so by adding all these three we'll get the effective address see the address of the operand is calculated at the sum of base register index register and the displacement or we can say that the offset address either of 8 bit or 16 bit together the addition of all these gives you the effective address or the address of the operand similarly as previous this address belongs to data segment moves to the register cl lower 8 bits of register c that is cl next is implied addressing mode this is the last addressing mode we will discuss in 8086 in this addressing mode the operands are implied or defined within the instruction itself means Example STC set carry. This sets the carry flag. No other operand is specified or no need of any other external operand is there. So such instructions follows the implied addressing mode. We can say the operands are implicitly defined. Okay. Already defined or already mentioned in the instruction itself. There is no need of defining any external 
operand or we don't need any external operand as well as its address so such instruction follows the implied addressing mode example stc that is set carry this sets the carry flag so this was all about the addressing modes this is the reference which i have taken to prepare these slides Thank you everyone.